Multiades, Greek, Multiades c. 550-489 BC, also known as Multiades the Younger, was an Athenian citizen known mostly for his role in the Battle of Marathon, as well as for his downfall afterwards. He was the son of Simon Kolamos, a renowned Olympic chariot racer, and the father of Simon, the noted Athenian statesman. Family Multiades was a well-born Athenian, and considered himself a member of the Aeacidae, as well as a member of the prominent Philaid clan. He came of age during the tyranny of the Pisistratids. His family was prominent, due in good part to their success with Olympic chariot racing. Plutarch claimed that Simon, Multiades' father, was known as Kolamos, meaning simpleton because he had a reputation for being rough around the edges, but whose three successive chariot racing victories at the Olympics made him popular, so popular in fact that, Herodotus claims, Pisistratus murdered him out of jealousy. Multiades was named after his father's maternal half-brother, Multiades the Elder, who was also a victor at Olympic chariot racing. Multiades's son Simon was a major Athenian figure of the 470s and 460s BC. His daughter Elpinis is remembered for her confrontations with Pericles, as recorded by Plutarch. Tyrant of the Thracian Chersonese Around 555 BC, Multiades the Elder left Athens to establish a colony on the Thracian Chersonese now the Gallipoli Peninsula, setting himself up as a semi-autonomous tyrant under the protection of Athens. Meanwhile, contrary to what one would expect from a man whose father was rumored to have been murdered by the city leaders, Multiades the Younger rose through the ranks of Athens to become a ponymous archon under the rule of the Pisistratid tyrant Hippias in 524-23 BC. Multiades the Elder was childless, so when he died around 520 BC, his nephew, Multiades the Younger's brother, Stesagoras, inherited the tyranny of the Chersonese. Four years later, 516 BC, Stesagoras met his death by an axe to the head, so the tyrant Hippias sent Multiades the Younger to claim his brother's lands. Stesagoras' reign had been tumultuous, full of war and revolt. Wishing to achieve stronger control over his lands than his brother had, Multiades feigned mourning for his brother's death. When the men of rank from the Chersonese came to console him, he imprisoned them. He then ensured his power by employing 500 troops. He also made an alliance with King Olorus of Thrace by marrying his daughter, Hegesipal. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Persian vassal. In around 513 BC, Darius I, the king of Persia, led a large army into the area, forcing the Thracian Chersonese into submission and making Multiades a vassal of Persian rule. Multiades joined Darius' northern expedition against the Scythians, and was left with other Greek officers to guard a bridge across the Danube, which Darius had used to cross into Scythia. Multiades later claimed that he had tried to convince the other officers to destroy the bridge and leave Darius and his forces to die, but the others were afraid, and Darius was able to recross, though some historians are skeptical of this claim. When the king heard of the planned sabotage, Multiades' rule became a perilous affair and he had to flee around 511-510 BC. Multiades joined the Ionian Revolt of 499 BC against Persian rule, returning to the Chersonese around 496 BC. He established friendly relations with Athens by capturing the islands of Lemnos and Imbros and ceding them to Athens, which had ancient claims to these lands. Return to Athens The Ionian Revolt collapsed in 494 BC, and in 492 BC Multiades and his family fled to Athens in five ships to escape a retaliatory Persian invasion. The Athens to which Multiades returned was no longer a tyranny, but had overthrown the Pisistratids and become a democracy fifteen years earlier. Thus, Multiades initially faced a hostile reception for his tyrannical rule in the Thracian Chersonese. His trial was further complicated by the politics of his aristocratic rivals he came from the Philaid clan, traditional rivals of the powerful Alcmaeonidae and the general Athenian mistrust of a man accustomed to unfettered authority. However, Multiades successfully presented himself as a defender of Greek freedoms against Persian despotism. He also promoted the fact that he had been a first-hand witness to Persian tactics, which was useful knowledge considering the Persians were bent on destroying the city. 
Thus, Multiades escaped punishment and was allowed to rejoin his old countrymen. It was by Multiades' advice that the Persian heralds who came to Athens to demand earth and water as tokens of submission were put to death. <inaudible> <inaudible> Battle of Marathon Multiades is often credited with devising the tactics that defeated the Persians at the Battle of Marathon. Multiades was elected to serve as one of the ten generals for 490 BC. In addition to the ten generals, there was one war ruler, Polemarch, Callimachus, who had to decide with the ten generals evenly split, five to five whether to attack the Persians who had landed at Marathon under the command of Datus, or wait to fight them closer to Athens. Multiades, the one with the most experience in fighting the Persians, was firm in insisting that the Persians be fought immediately, as a siege of Athens would lead to its destruction. He convinced Callimachus to use his decisive vote in favor of a swift attack. He is quoted as saying, I believe that, provided the gods will give fair play and no favor, we are able to get the best of it in the engagement. Multiades also convinced the other generals of the necessity of not using the customary tactics of using hoplites arrayed in an evenly distributed phalanx armed with shields and spears, tactics otherwise not deviated from for 100 years, until the time of Epaminondas. Multiades feared the cavalry of the Persians attacking the flanks, and asked for more hoplites to be stationed there than in the center. He ordered the two tribes in the center, the Leontis tribe led by Themistocles and the Antiochus tribe led by Aristides, to be arrayed to a depth of four ranks while the rest of the tribes, on their flanks, were arrayed in eight ranks. Multiades also had his men march to the end of the Persian archer range, called the beaten zone. Then break out in a run straight at the Persian army. These tactics were successful in defeating the Persians, who then tried to sail around the Cape Sunion and attack Attica from the west. Multiades got his men to quickly march to the western side of Attica overnight and block the two exits from the plain of Marathon, to prevent the Persians moving inland. Datus fled at the sight of the soldiers who had just defeated him the previous evening. One theory for the Greek success in the battle is the lack of Persian cavalry. The theory is that the Persian cavalry left Marathon for an unspecified reason, and that the Greeks moved to take advantage of this by attacking. This theory is based on the absence of any mention of cavalry in Herodotus' account of the battle, and an entry in the Suda dictionary. The entry Chorus Ipus, without cavalry, is explained thus, the cavalry left. When Datus surrendered and was ready for retreat, the Ionians climbed the trees and gave the Athenians the signal that the cavalry had left and when Multiades realized that, he attacked and thus won. From there comes the above-mentioned quote, which is used when someone breaks ranks before battle. Topic. Expedition at Peros The following year, 489 BC, Multiades led an Athenian expedition of 70 ships against the Greek-inhabited islands that were deemed to have supported the Persians. The expedition was not a success. His true motivations were to attack Peros, feeling he had been slighted by them in the past. The fleet attacked the island, which had been conquered by the Persians, but failed to take it. Multiades suffered a grievous leg wound during the campaign and became incapacitated. His failure prompted an outcry on his return to Athens, enabling his political rivals to exploit his fall from grace. Charged with treason, he was sentenced to death, but the sentence was converted to a fine of 50 talents. He was sent to prison where he died, probably of gangrene from his wound. The debt was paid by his son Simon. Topic. Statue Phidias later erected in Multiades' honor, in the temple of the goddess at Romnus, a statue of Nemesis, the deity whose job it was to bring sudden ill fortune to those who had experienced an excess of good. The statue was said to have been made from marble provided by Datus for a memorial to the Persians' expected victory. Topic. See also Archaeological Museum of Olympia Metiochos Chi Parthenope Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Sources Creasy, Edward Shepard The Fifteen Decisive Battles of the World, From Marathon to Waterloo. New York, Crowell. 
ISBN 1-60620-952-3. Hammond, N. G. L., Scullard, H. H., E. D. S., 1970. Oxford Classical Dictionary 2nd ed. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-869117-3. Herodotus. Histories. Oxford World's Classics. Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-282425-2. Topic. External links 3D model of Testa Viral Elmada, identified as a portrait of Multiades, via photogrammetric survey of a plaster cast of the Capitoline Museum's marble Photo essay of Multiades' helmet Livius, Multiades by Jonah Lendering